Hi, it's Evelyn again. This is part five. And I wanted to get into colors, um, but just something else real quick about the ninth when we went through the uh, crucifixion energies. I'd done my sand art before I left to get the, the feeling of energies before I left. And I did it twice, actually. The first time ended up um, all about sharks, you know, big sharks. We're getting into the fourth dimension, you know, and the fourth dimension is all about murkiness and darkness. And when I did it again, it ended up showing like the ocean floor, that there was a lot of death. In the first one with the big sharks, there was it wasn't just sharks. There was lots of entities floating around, including angels. It was a mixed a mixed bag, but it ended up on one big shark. So just watch out for the sharks, right? And when I did it again, it ended up on an ocean floor where there was lots of death everywhere on the ocean floor and there were bottom feeders feeding off of all of the death. Okay, this is very representative of the fourth dimension and the, the crucifixion of the divine masculine. So you have all this death energy that now the bottom feeders are coming out, you know, to pick, pick at all the leftovers, to not be that and rise above all of that. We're graduating from that. We don't, we don't involve ourselves in that anymore. So then I want to get into uh, colors. Um, this is a, an epiphany I'd had a while back, actually, before, I don't know, beginning of the year, maybe. I don't know if it was December or January, I started thinking about this. And I brought it up to someone in February, but it didn't resonate with them, so I kind of put it on the shelf to see if it would come back again, and it did. Today. And it has to do with colors. Um, when, we, when we see etheric colors when we meditate they are not equal to the colors we're seeing in the 3d and you can you can practice this yourself to understand it more but i'm definitely getting this as important to to bring up when you when you see for example let's say your etheric cord between you and your twin is blue when you see that in a meditation if you do not, you know most people don't see this but just as an example in the 3d that color is going to be red and now think about this you know we also think of uh, organic archangel michael as having a blue shield a protection so when you see it in etheric it's blue but in the 3D, that same blue would actually be red. Because if you stare at something that's red in the 3D with your eyes closed, you're going to see it as blue because it's the opposite. This is this is example of the 3D illusions, literally. So everything you see in color in 3D is an illusion because when you see it in the etheric realm, it's going to be the opposite. So when you see a yellow, a yellow etheric cord in your meditation, it's actually in the 3D purple. Okay, and I wanted to, the blue and red is very profound because it has to do with, you know, red, when we see red in the 3D, we always see that as being protection, root energy, but it's actually blue. So when you see the blue etheric cord and the blue protection of Michael, of Archangel Michael, this is actually red in the 3D. So red in the 3D is of protection, but it's actually equal to the blue color and the etheric, the protection of Archangel Michael and the blue etheric cords. Whenever you see blue, that equates to the red root protection energy. Then we have the yellow etheric cord and the 3D purple. And you can practice this yourself, but another profound comparison is the black and white. Because when you see black in the etheric realm, which is just lack of light, right? In the 3D, that's rose. Rose to white is actually what you see etherically as black. And then when you see etherically the white light, um, in the 3D, that's actually black. And I, I, I had an epiphany about this because this is very important. People always see the white light, you know, as angelic, which it is. But you also know that white light doesn't last past a certain dimension because that becomes an illusion as well. The higher you go, there's no light at all, which is absence of light, which is black, which is source. That is the void. 
So when you see black etherically or nothingness, that's the void. But you see that in the 3D as white or 3D rose or 3D rose color. You know, the pink to the white varies a little bit. And of course it varies depend on the shade because if it's a very light, um, a light color, it doesn't show up etherically in the exact opposite. You know, you have to experiment a little bit on your own. But um, this was perfect, you know, because you think of, of black and the etheric, we always think of as dark, but it's not, it's absence of light. And absence of light occurs the higher dimensions, which is good, that's source, that's the void. The white light only lasts, um, and I'm not sure of this, I think light exists up to the seventh dimension. If I'm incorrect on that, please correct me, I'm not sure. But this made total sense to me, because I'm like, why is white, why would white be bad then? Why would white in the 3D be black and the etheric or considered dark energy? But it's not, it's absence of light, and absence of light occurs when we go higher, higher and higher and higher. Because then we work with sound and symbols as opposed to light. So this make, made total sense to me. Um, just as another example of color, um, the emerald green is the opposite of magenta. That's the divine masculine and divine feminine colors, so it's perfect. In the 3D, the 3D magenta is the etheric emerald green and, and vice versa. So you get my drift and you can play with the opposite of colors because, you know, as you get the in-between shades, they're going to be slightly different on either side. But I'd love to hear some feedback on this. Um, I'm very, getting very, very grounded uh, confirmations on this. And if you see another example of, of the color thing is, you know, we always see blue as the boy's color and pink as the little girl's color. So blue, number one, baby blue and baby pink, both come, at, come out as more black in the etheric realm, which would be source energy in the high, in the high dimensions. Um, if you go to blue and red, where the masculine is the red and the, and the divine feminine is blue, the red will come out as the blue in the etheric dimension, which is like the protection of Archangel Michael, which makes complete sense. And then the blue would be the divine feminine, comes out as the, the red etheric color, which is of grounding and, and, and uh, um, in the etheric realm. The blue is more of protection, whereas the red is more of what blue would be as far as um, expressing and communicating. So there's a lot of connection between, so much connection between the root chakra and the throat chakra in this. And I'd love to hear your comments and your perspective on this. Um, yeah, if you don't resonate with it, that's fine. Uh, go walk around your neighborhood. And, and really understand this, that you know what you're looking at is really dead because there's no light in it. There's no etheric light in it unless you look at something that's alive, like a tree, where you'll see an aura. When you see aura, that's etheric light. Then you see the true light. So, um, like I said, give me some feedback on that. Um, I think it's actually very important going forward. And uh, yeah. Have an amazing week, you guys. Thank you so much, of course, as always, for all your likes, shares, subscribes. And uh, actually, before I go, I can do, I, it's gonna end at 15 minutes, so I just wanna do a couple cards for you real quickly. And this will just be both. There's no divine masculine or feminine separation. I'll just give you a card. We're gonna clear first. This is for the organic twin flames and their unions. What is the card? What is the advice for the organic twin flames? Organic twin flames. And we got the temperance card, okay, which came up a lot in this read. So this is all about balance and patience. We're taking one step at a time. Don't make any rash decisions this week, okay? And that came up in the Leo King as well. One step at a time. Don't let anyone force you. Keep your emotions calm, as in this creek here, okay, with the pond stones. One step at a time. And then the other two cards that want to come out is the Knight of Cups. There are proposals of love coming, okay? Be true to yourself. 
And don't feed into the illusion that just because someone gives love to everyone doesn't mean they're a manipulator, okay? It doesn't mean that they are duplicitous. You see, this is an upright Knight of Cups, the way the Divine Masculine should be, kind and loving. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Don't get stuck up in your head, okay, about the illusions. Don't see the illusions. Only follow your own knowing. You don't need others to tell you what's real. You know what's real. Get out of your head and get into your heart. Okay, and you see represented the magenta and the emerald green colors here. All right, so the uh, feminine's representing the top half and the divine masculine's representing the bottom half. Get rid of those illusions, okay? And then also the strength card want to come out real quick. You have the infinity and we talked about that as well in this talk, so, okay? Taming the beast within each of us. And note the colors, the blues and the greens of the, the feminine taming the beast that's brown, okay? Kind of reddishes and browns. Um, in the Romance Angels, see if we can get a card out real quick. All right, what is the advice for the Twin Flame community? <sighs> Pay attention to the red flags. This is all about synchronicities. There are signs clashing you. Use your own knowing. Follow, follow your signs and, and watch and pay attention. Um, these two want to come out as well. Let your friends help you, okay? Ask for and accept support from others. If you don't resonate with them, detach. And then the third card that wants to come out is trust. Trust your own knowing. The situation is calling for you to have faith. That's the surrender is patience and faith. And then for the, uh, let's see, we still have time for the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Organic Twin Flames, what is the advice for the Organic Twin Flames? Organic Twin Flames, what is the advice, what is the advice, what is the advice? Oh, and what fell out was one card. Perfect, and it's been coming up a lot. This is the Ace of Pentacles, okay, and it's about a new life, a fresh start, new beginning. Practical new beginning, perfect of perfect contentment. Okay, you see the heart in the front there and the candle? actually three candles, three flames, co-creation, and the heart, which includes manifestation of money as an energy, okay? It's an exchange. You can have the life that you want. It doesn't have to be a rich one. It has to be the one that you want. What do you want to manifest for yourself, remember? And there's the curtains that all the world's a stage. There's one more card that wants to come out. It's the romance card, okay? doesn't matter what you have. It matters the connection you have, and look at all the roses around them. You got some pink roses, and they may be white. Lots of green and red roses. Beautiful. And a violin. Violin is very angelic. That's about the, so the sound in the higher realms, the higher dimensions. Okay, it's coming up because we brought that up. And that's the five of change. Don't be afraid of change. Go with it and allow. One more. Okay. This is the five of wands. You got two fives. Two fives equals a one. That's a new beginning. Okay. No more feeding into the illusions of what somebody else is doing. Okay. Just stay with your own knowing and give yourself attention. Love yourself first. Okay. The numerology deck. Let's see if we can get one from here. Organic Twin Flames. What is the advice for the Organic Twin Flames from the numerology deck? Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> Came right out. Love. And I like how this is blue. So in the 3D blue, this would be red in the etheric realm. This would be your root chakra. Okay. Love. Beautiful. Mm. Let's see if I have time for the uh, mini deck. We're going to run out of time in a second, but let's see what we get. This is for the Organic True Twins. Organic True Twin Flames. I just passed the 1441, by the way, and 44. And these two cards just bumped out. We got, before I have to go, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. We're ending the pain. 
Okay, take the uh, ego out of 